VMware vSAN 7 introduces native file services. This hypervisor integrated service eases the burden of design and management for environments that require file level services by providing a simple and robust solution using software you already know. This video demonstrates the setup process, creating and managing file shares, and performance and capacity monitoring. Enabling the vSAN file service is pretty straightforward. Now that it's enabled, let's walk through the configuration. The first step is to either manually or automatically download the OVF. This OVF is a file server agent. These agents are stateless containers that are spread across the cluster to provide resiliency of the service. Next, we name the file service and provide DNS servers and DNS suffixes. Choose the appropriate networking configuration for your environment. This is just a small lab, so I'm just using the VM network. And then provide static IP addresses that are part of the forward and reverse lookup zones in your DNS server. For the highest resiliency, provide one IP address for every server in your cluster. This is only my lab, so I'm only going to provide three IP addresses. A quick review shows me that the OVF has completed downloading and is ready to deploy. I'll verify my configuration and click Finish. After a few moments, I can see the file service is now deployed, enabled using my configuration, and I'm ready to start creating some file shares. To create a file share, under Configure, click vSAN, File Service Shares, and then Add. We'll name the file share, and also assign a vSAN storage policy. This policy can include all the features that we associate with block storage policies. We can also assign quotas with warning thresholds and also hard quotas. A hard quota means that we'll not be able to place any additional data on the share. Additionally, we can add custom labels. Under Network Access Control, we either grant no access, we can allow access from any IP address, or we can do custom net access. This is where we can identify a range of IP addresses that can access the share. You can assign no access, read only, or read write permissions. I'm also going to add a single IP address with read-only access. This is for my backup server. A quick review, and I'll click Finish. Now that I've successfully created my file share, I have some management options. For one, I'd like to share the file. With the file share selected, I can select to either copy the URL for NFS version 3 or NFS version 4.1. You'll notice it's using the primary IP address I supplied in the file services configuration menu. I can also modify the initial share, changing the storage policy, the quotas, or even the labels. I'm going to increase my hard share quota to 2 terabytes. If the file share is no longer needed, once selected, I can click Delete. I'll verify and click Delete. Performance metrics for file shares can be viewed on a per share basis. These performance metrics are provided by the vSAN Performance Service and are visible in the vCenter UI. We can see read and write metrics for IOPS, throughput, and latency. The default time range for viewing performance is one hour, but if we need to, we can increase that to get more information. Now with vSAN 7, I can monitor performance at a VM level, backend I.O., as well as individual file shares. In this example, clicking on the file share project monkey wrench shows that for the past hour and a half, I've had some increased write latency. The APIs in vSAN also allow for this file share performance data to be viewed in other applications, like vRealize operations. Let's take a look at capacity monitoring in vSAN 7. I can see in the vSAN overview I've got some vSAN health issues. A closer look shows me that the file share project monkey wrench has not only exceeded the warning threshold, but has hit the hard quota. So let's go ahead and add more capacity to this file share. I'll increase the share warning threshold to 4 gigabytes and the hard quota to 5. Now I can see my usage quota is at 40% and my users can continue to write into this share. vSAN File Services, new in vSAN 7, makes it easy for both traditional virtual machines and newer, modern containerized applications to consume and manage this service. Any app, any cloud, any device. 
To learn more about file services and other vSAN features, be sure to go to storagehub.vmware.com. VMware Storage. Real. Today. Today.